Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about unit rates and rate units. And um, so what we have here, we have Angela, and she enjoys swimming and often swims at a steady pace to burn calories. At this pace, Angela can swim 1,700 meters in 40 minutes. So what I'm going to do right away is build a chart that's going to show this information. So here we go. I'll put a bunch of rows. I need two columns. I need uh, meters. And I need minutes. And I'm going to add the data here, but I'm going to put it in the middle because I'm going to have to manipulate up and manipulate down a little bit, and we'll see what happens here. So we have 40 minutes. We have 1,700 meters. And my mind is already going and racing and saying, hey, I can bring this down to a uh, 170 for every four minutes. I could also go up. I could kick this up to 80 minutes, which means I have 3,400 meters of swimming. And uh, But what I'm looking for is a unit rate. And a unit rate means per minute in this case. I want to find out this value, how many meters for, the, for one single minute. And you'll notice, though, I, I can't exactly take um, 170 divided by four, split into four parts. So I'm going to demonstrate what's going to happen here using a tape diagram. So the tape diagram is going to represent, or the total of my tape is going to represent those 170 meters. I'm going to break it into four parts. It's a good thing I reduced this uh, or found a lower equivalent ratio before I started this out, because that helps me a bit. Um, and, I, and I noticed that it's broken into four parts because I, I'm taking 170 minutes, and I have four minutes um, that add to that or or uh, are equivalent to, to those 170 minutes. So I want to find out what is the value of each of those minutes. That's why I'm splitting it into four sections, because this guy here is going to represent my unit rate how much or how, how far can a person swim or Angela swim in one minute. So here we go. I have my 170. I'm going to divide it by four because I have four boxes or four parts. So this goes in zero times. I have a four here. I have a 16 here. I bring this guy down. That's a 10. That'll go in twice for eight. I subtract. I have two left out of four. And that means I have 42, nice and simplified, and one-half meters. 42 and one-half meters. Now, that guy goes in here, okay? So for every minute she swims, it's 42 and a half minutes. So that's my unit rate now. So it is 42 and one-half, we use the word per, per minute, okay? Per minute, or we have a 42 and a half uh, you can use a colon to one kind of thing, but I'm, I'm going to start using the word per to show that it is a unit rate, but you can very much use that colon as well to show the same thing, okay? So right in here, I know that each of these boxes is worth 42 and a half. Each one represents one of the minutes, so one minute is for 42 and a half meters. Now down here, rate unit it's just taking unit rate and switching it around, but it means something pretty different. I'm not using numbers for this case. All I want to know are the units being uh, used in this particular case. And in this case, we're talking about meters. I'm going to use that word per minute. Okay, so we have 42 and a half meters per minute as my unit rate, and my rate unit is meters, or simply meters per minute. Okay? Well, that's it, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.